Hey folks, AJ the CEO here, and the wonderful people at AVCAN sent me an email saying, AJ, we heard you had a problem with our economy PTZs, the E20s, where you have to use the camera CMS software to configure them and get them set up, which is kind of problematic if you have a Mac because the software is only Windows based. But anyway, they sent me an email saying that they've released a new firmware update 1.0.05 that now adds a web interface for these cameras that makes it a whole lot easier to configure. So they sent me another camera with the firmware and we're gonna just show you the bells and whistles of how to get stuff working with it. So let's go ahead and cut over to my computer and we can actually go look at this camera. All right, so I already have it set up on my network. I have it set up, well actually let's do this backwards. If we go to the camera CMS software, and this is traditionally how I would set this all up. I set it up here at home, then I take it with me to the church, and then everything is already set up. So if I do a search, and granted it's already here, there is the camera and it's already on version 1.0.05. I'll show you how to get to it and update it if need be. Um, inside of here, if you're using a version that's not that, you can go to their website, which is here, avcans.com, go to services, go to download, and if you scroll down here, there is the firmware, update web interface support, and that is for the EV20 and the EV20 NDI version. So just download that, and if we cut back over here, we can go to our network information, you can get here so you can physically get to it, add it to the client, and now in this camera, if I had it to do it, we can go to remote configuration, you can go to the upgrade and you would upgrade it here. That's how you would do it. But again, this version is already set. So the camera CMS software still works. But if we go to the IP address, 192.168.0.95, boom, we now have a web interface. Now the default for this is admin, admin 123 to get in there. You log in and boom, there we have our interface. The camera is right here behind me. You see me recording here. So all of the typical stuff that you will see in the web interface, it is here. So you can move the camera around here if you want it to. You can access the menu, which I really, really like that you can do it here. Panorama, I don't know what that is. I don't think that actually is for this, but hey, we're playing around with the stuff. We can set our presets here. We can have our PTZ speed, so I like to crank that up. When you initially start it, you can set it if you wanna to go to a home position or a preset. You can change the speed, you can zoom in and out. It's a whole web interface to control the camera, just like any of the other cameras. You have access to your image, your focus, your exposure your white balance and all this other good stuff. All the same settings you normally would see. Your audio config, video, you can set everything here. And again, I love the web page set so that it gives you a lot more access than the camera CMS because everybody's used to the web interface anyway, so I'm glad they've added that. You can change your protocols here for the RTSP if need be, turn on the RTMPs. Again, this is the NDI version, so I can set the name here instead of going through the camera CMS software. Because again, you can still do the same stuff. I just like the fact that it's just in a web interface. So the exact same thing here, but it's all on the web. So again, mainly if you're using a Mac and I've always had to bring my laptop to configure them, if the ministry is solely using Macs, you don't even have to worry about that anymore, all right? We can go here to our control protocols, and this is where you can set the um, ports for if you're using Visca, which actually, this camera was giving me a problem with the joystick I'm using, but I was able to get in here and everything works, so it's really cool. Um, makes it a lot easier from here. And then your system configurations, you have your user, you can come in here, change the password, add another user if you want. Your ethernet configuration, which again, just through the CMS, Camera CMS software, I always set mine to a static IP, so that's 95. And a web interface for upgrading if it goes higher than 0 0.05, um, 1.0.05. And then you have your device information with your version and all that other good stuff here. 
and you can change your password here or you can change the language if you want to. So really straightforward, really, really easy. If you have this type of camera, I highly recommend you go ahead and update the firmware because even if it's working fine, at least if something else comes down the pipe and you need to upgrade it to a later version, might as well have the latest version because in this software, again, um, when I downloaded this, let me see where I downloaded this and I can show you exactly what it says inside the files. So inside of here, this important notice here says, this is the reason why you need to update your firmware. If you want to go somewhere, you're going to have to walk through all the firmware. So here it says, if you're not on, um, if you're lower than 0 0.03, you need to put 03 first, then go to that. And you never know, they go to a higher version. You're going to have to walk through all of them. Go ahead and get it updated and it gives you some more functionality. And again, really, really straightforward. Love the fact that I can now get to the web interface and it just makes it so much easier than having to pack my computer with me if there is a Mac um, environment to a ministry that I'm using. So go ahead and get it now. Link is down below. Again, AVCans, thank you so much. And again, I have six PTZs here. So I know I'm not going to need them. So we're going to be doing a giveaway with one of these with this firmware updated. So be on the lookout for that. Might even throw that in on our live streaming bundle. You just never know. But again, thank you so much, AVCans, for your continued support. Keep, keep up the great work with the great products. And hey, we'll still be using them to install them um, as best as we possibly can. Um, link is down below if you're interested in getting one of these cameras. And I'll link a joystick and all the other fun stuff and the link to where you need to download this and all this other stuff to get the web interface on your camera. Please make sure if you do this, it is the exact model, the E20. You don't wanna brick your camera by putting the wrong firmware version on the wrong camera, all right? Be mindful of that. So anyway, if you like this type of talk, if you like this type of content, I appreciate the like, consider subscribing, hit that bell, the way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. Thanks for watching, folks. This is AJ, catch you on the next video, later. <laughs>